Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have a Country Craft Creations haul to share with you. I'm here in Utah and I went to the store and yep, I bought some stuff as you can see as well as I will be in the store. Um, they have special hours tomorrow, Sunday, what is that? The 13th, I think, of October 2024. Um, so one, if you're in Utah, come on, head up to the store. I will be in the store um, most of the day before I head back home to Washington. So I just had to show you guys some goodies before I leave. I will hopefully do a live from the store as well, but I, I just couldn't wait because this paper is so stinking cute and you need to get it before it sells out. Or I will go back and buy some more. <laughs> Okay, so I'm doing this with one hand, which is never good. So just know the video is going to be janky, and that's okay. You guys are used to janky hotel videos. Um, but let me just move this stuff on over and first go through, see if I can um, shift that a little bit. Uh, can I hold it with my left hand? We will try. Hold on one sec. Okay, so, oh my gosh, this collection is so cute. I'm just going to zoom in here. This is Prima's The Home Baker, and it's by The Three Girls Tale. Um, they design such adorable collections. I don't know who they are. I'm assuming it's three girls, but they design um, amazing collections. And look how stinking cute this collection is oh my gosh so cute so this is a 12 by 12 and of course I had to get I don't even think I got all of the extra goodies that come with this collection but I got most of it so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit this is the back of the cover sheet so you can cut it apart um, and a lot of this will um, mash up with country craft creations um, kitchen memories collection if you have that but I just love the colors of this collection. It's so cute. So of course, recipe album and even think Christmas, gifting this, um, making an album with, you know, favorite recipes, family traditions. It's just stinking cute. And look how cute you are. Okay, Tiffany, you're so weird, I know. So two of each is in this collection pack. And this is thick paper. It is really thick cardstock. So you have this image, adorable. Of course, I love the teal uh, uh, tones in this collection and like the minty greens. So pretty. And move that one on over. I just, I literally can't. This is so adorable. So cute. Have that one. And the B-side is just a floral, but it is really pretty. Love that floral. Then there's this one. And sorry, again, it's really hard to do with one hand. Love the B-side of that. But just all their little layering, little clusters of the images are so stinking cute have this one I'm trying to get it all in i probably should have showed you guys the eight by eight so what it would have fit in, fit, it would have fit in a lot better <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> oh lord have mercy oh this is so pretty and it could be used for other things so it just doesn't have to be a baker album things like this part maybe so but you could use other pieces other elements oh just such a pretty color palette and you have this big giant signature page here really pretty it would be pretty to put a photo in it and frame it just as is and we have more i think that is it for the 12 by 12 and then let me just show you i'm gonna leave some this out here so you guys can see some of the other components so I also grabbed the spools of yarn I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but I got it 
My God, that's so cute, and it matches. <laughs> but it'd be pretty for, especially like if you bake goods, um, even, you know, like I said, at Christmas time, just to wrap them and package them up nicely is adorable. And this one is the chipboard stickers. So you have all these sentiments. I literally can't, so cute. I had to do it, I had to buy some flowers. Can I make my own? Yes, I can. But I love this color palette and I didn't even get, I, I think there was like, I don't know, maybe two or three other flowers. There was washi tape with this collection. Uh, I can't remember if, there, I think there was rub-ons, but I, don't quote me on that. You have these um, Satan crystals, which I love. Just gorgeous colors, gorgeous. And then you have the Ephemera 60 pack. And it comes with two of each. Let me do a little close up. It's still not close enough. Sorry, I'm trying to focus. Well, you get the gist. And I just thought these were so cute, especially if you, you know, give out um, baked goods at the holiday time frames. So these are the tags. So it's a mason jar um, style and then more of like a, I don't even know what those are called. I totally just went blank, but you have all these little tags you can um, add to your project or have them on, you know, just as packaging. Okay, hold on, I gotta adjust my hand. And then this ephemera pack, which is 32 and it's flowers. So you have floral clusters, so pretty. And then I did get the six by six. And this isn't open and I'm not gonna be able to open it because I can't do it with one hand. I wasn't thinking. Ugh. Trying to see if I can jimmy it open somehow, the journal pad, but it's not working very well. I'm trying to this, well, at least we know this is secure. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can move and grab my little scissors. So hold tight. I'm just in my hotel room. Hold on one second. They're downstairs right now doing um, a retreat class. And I popped up here and I was like, oh, let me just do a quick little video since I'll be at the store tomorrow. If there's anything, you know, you guys need me to match up or to take a look at, I'll be there. Oh, it's not working. Hold on. I'm a coming because you guys have to see these journal cards. But again, I'm trying to do it with one hand. It is hilarious. I got it. I think I got it. Okay. Oh gosh, there's two sides. Darn it. <laughs> I was so close. So close. I really wish I was up here taking a nap. That's what I need to be doing. I taught yesterday. It was a fun project I think I think they all liked it but it was my only my um, only time well not my only time it was my second time teaching in person so eventually I'll get better okay oh let me switch hands now I got it open but it is this pad here and I think there's like four of each yeah so, oh, just the coloring is so pretty. And you have like this one. And especially like if you like to ink things up, this would be gorgeous inked up. These are all like recipe cards. This is gonna be a long video because it's gonna take me forever with one hand. I just think it's so pretty. You guys have to let me know if you got this collection. It has a little KitchenAid mixer on there. Well, I'm sure technically it's not a KitchenAid. But you never know. But basically you guys get the gist. So just a bunch of beautiful, stunning, recipe cards in the journaling note card pad. Oh, and I also got, oh, stretching, it's way up here. The three by four and open, oh my gosh. Oh, I got it open with one hand. 
the three by four cards. So these here, let's see what these look like. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So you have the little mousy. Looks like that. The backs look to all be the same. So these are just some of them here. Oh, this is so pretty. Homemade with love, a beautiful mason jar cluster, homemade cupcakes. I wonder if these recipes really actually are real recipes. Love this mason jar. I don't even know what that one says. What does this say? I don't know what that says. Can you guys read that better? Maybe on video? I have no idea. But yeah, lots and lots of journaling cards. These are beautiful for tags. Also adorable banners. Just cute little banners. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so that is Prima the home baker and i'm gonna try to push this out of the way somewhere but not so far out of the way okay i also grabbed these cards from paper rose and again if you're just hopping on this is jinky hotel video time i used to have a lot of videos done from the hotel rooms <laughs> you just make do with what you have, people make do. But usually, I used to have, um, I'm trying to get the cards out. I used to have like a uh, camera holder, phone holder that I would take with me and I just, I haven't done that yet. So I'm trying to get them out. Okay, I think I got most of them out of there. But there usually is like a little inspiration card somewhere. Right back here. So these come with six by eight papers. I think they're a little bit bigger than eight. It says six by eight, but I think it's a little bit bigger if I remember correctly. But this is everything you get in there. So you get the little die cut sheets and then you get um, an inspo sheet. And I just think this collection is so pretty. So it looks like this here, I think they brought this out during um, like February, Valentine's time. Um, but don't quote me on that. And I have it upside down. I mean, this thing was upside down. Okay. So it is, um, has like desserts and ice cream. Look at that little dessert truck. It's all upside down. Oh, just yumminess. It's just very cute. I think I showed that already. Yeah, so then it repeats itself, and I think you get three of each with that. So I'm going to plop that out of the way. And then I found these cuties. So I, I got, I don't even know, like four or five of these. I just thought they were really pretty flowers. And you guys saw this already. I just got more of it so I could do the kitty version. So this is um, a uniquely created Willow and Grace collection. But this time I was able to snag some of the creative cuts, which looks like this here, as well as the cat's creative cuts, the dog. She was out of the dog ones. I didn't even look to see if she had any in the warehouse. But that's so cute. Cute little kitty kitties. Okay, so there was that. And let me keep going. I grabbed, oh, I'm gonna shift here for a second. I love this collection um, from Country Crab Creations. It's their exclusive um, calendar collection called, uh, what is it, Remember the Time. So I wanted more of the Halloween pieces because they go with some of her other collect Halloween collections. And if you don't know, the Little Witchy Girl goes with a lot of things. Um, a lot of brands use this image. But I just, I just, I love this Halloween one. It's my favorite. And that is what is on the back there with the cut apart. But then you also can get this one here. So that is from Country Craft Creations exclusive line. 
and I did grab the Uniquely um, Creative Merry and Bright new Christmas collection. So it looks like this here. And I think, I don't know if I got one of everything. I really was picking the ones I really, really loved. So this one is really pretty and I love the back of this. So I did have to get a couple of these. Let's see if I can get it off. And then you have this one that had like the pine cone floral cluster. The B side is a ledger. And I really liked this one because I like the red stripe going throughout it. I don't know why, I just really like it. So it's Christmassy, but it's not Christmassy. So you can swing it different ways if you choose to. And if you did not know, um, the die cuts for the creative, uniquely creative folios, um, Country Craft Creations has been taking pre-orders. They're going to be arriving, I think some started just today. I think they were delivered today. Um, and they have hundreds um, on their way. So um, if you are interested in that, I'll try to remember to link that in the description box. Otherwise, hop on to Country Craft Creations and just punch in uniquely create creative uh, folio dies. But they are doing pre-orders because they just keep selling out in... Um, uniquely creative was out of them at one point and then this I love um, I have the small um, it's a die set from UC that has two different sizes that fits this so I'll be using that too as well for um, making some holiday tags I just think that little cupcake is so cute and then you have that and then this cut apart sheet Oh, so fun and then this is the back and then I did pick up the creative cuts and I didn't see very many left so I'd hurry and pick it up if you haven't already and the six by six here which I did take some out so obviously smaller versions than the 12 by 12 single-sided to see if I have one of everything. Oh, you got the ledger. Music notes. So you do get both sides. Oh, and then you have this pretty floral cut apart one. Ooh, ooh, and you get a full size tag in here with some sentiments. Nice. Okay, we're not done yet. So there is a lot in here. This pack has 32 single sheets. So you can fussy cut these elements. They're very pretty. So that is Uniquely Creatives, um, Merry Chris, no, Merry and Bright. And then, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think I've shown everything except for this little cutie patootie. The World of Oz collection from Country Craft Creations. And I also got the 12 by 12 and the um, Echo Parks Oz collection has a lot of elements that will mash up with this as well. So I already have those back at home, so not with me, but I will probably be mashing them up. But I love that there's actual like real characters on this. So cool. Have the sparkle. If you really want a, a ruby red slipper, you can just glitter those babies up. There's lots of options out there. You get two of each of the cut aparts. How stinking cute. And you have these. Ooh, that was blurry. And the B side is the yellow brick road, the poppies, and that's the B's. Oh, I love that. Love that stripe. Now the rest of them, you get three of each. So you have Dorothy, 
And then the B side is the yellow brick road with poppies. So pretty. Love this. I love the little athletic sock. I just think that's so cute. And like that. So you have a blue gingham on their way to Oz. And then you have it on the back too. This would be cute to do, you know, like, like several different little books, but doing it, you know, in theme. Okay, these are ugly. <laughs> These little monkeys. Alrighty then. I don't know what's the little what's the little girl? Is that supposed to be Dorothy? I'm confused on that one. Um oh I like that. So you have the flying monkeys, which have always creeped me out. Love this page. Love, love, love. With the green witch, wicked witch. Oh my gosh, I love that page. And on the back is just stars, which is so cool. And again, you can mash that up with other CCC collections. And then you have back home at Kansas with the tornado. Oh no, this is with it falling on the witch already because I see the little feet under there. And you have that page. And then there's no place like home. And back to the yellow gingham, and I think that is it. So, just dying to know what you guys think, but this one, oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this one to be released. Oh, I think for like eight months now. <laughs> I've been driving Tamara crazy asking, when is it? When is it? When? Oh, so cute. Had to have it. It's going in the hoard vault. Love this collection. But let me know what you guys think. I, um, like I said, I will be at the Country Craft Creation Store Sunday in Utah, which if you live in Utah, you know nothing is open on Sunday, so it's a special little treat. But I think the store hours will be just till like two in the afternoon. Excuse me, as they yawn. Yeah, I think it's like till two in the afternoon. But um, I will be at the store for a few hours. So if you're here in Utah, come check us out. Um, otherwise, I'll be back home and I'll do another haul video if I pick up some more things tomorrow, which you guys know is most likely going to happen. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. I'll try to have everything linked below in the description box and I'll talk to you later. Bye.